definitely like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And we have a, a new dropping from the BBC coming, a new Doctor Who dropping. Uh, I think calling it dropping is probably uh, the right word, right? The right, right way to describe it. They're making more Doctor Who. Why? It's my first. What? Like, what do they think is going to happen? Do they think everyone's going to go, oh, oh my God, this is actually really, really very good? No, no, like, why? I, I have to ask myself, I ask myself this question a lot. Is it fair that I rank on this era of Doctor Who as much as I, I take the piss all the time? I, I, I really, you know, do some deep dive uh, uh, analysis of it, which is, which just isn't very favorable. <laughs> but is it fair? Is it fair? Because listen, the first. I don't think they're innocent. I don't think the BBC are innocent from the beginning of with, with this era. I think they knew exactly what they're doing. But I'll give them the benefit of doubt for the, the first... Uh, you know, the first two seasons, even, right? Yeah, they, they, the first season, they they, they they didn't know how badly it was going to go. And the second season, they were basically filming before they got the user data from the first season in, I think. And so, you know, they thought, oh, we'll just add more monsters in. It'll all be good. So, uh, uh, But they, it failed completely. By the end of their second season, they had failed completely. And then they had a complete, complete... Uh, uh, get out of jail free card with COVID, right? With Corona, they could have just said, oh, we can't make it. And, and they would have saved themselves so much embarrassment. But no, 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 no. They had to double, triple, quadruple down. They gave them not another six episodes, not another eight episodes, but another nine episodes. So uh, uh, why? I, I, it's a question. What, who, who do you think you're convincing? Anyway, so we have another episode coming out and I will be taking the piss out of it quite mercilessly. Uh, that's That's... Kind of just the way way things roll. Now, if you're somebody who likes this era, don't watch this video, okay? It's not, I mean, it's somebody who genuinely likes it, right? Don't watch this video. I don't want to upset you. I, it's like, it, why, why would I want to do that? If you're one of the hate watchers, though, one of the crazy Twitterati that feels that the things I say are just pure evil, right? <laughs> pure, like, the worst. Thing. So you know the way to really, really, you know, uh, um, uh, show me up, right? The way to do it, the way to do it is uh, 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 like, share, subscribe. That don't, Do that the first thing, right? You're going to want to subscribe, obviously. You're gonna, you don't want to miss any of the heresy. Sometimes I'm not fair to Jodie Whittaker. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're not going to want to miss any of that, and you want to catalog it all. So you're going to watch and re-watch. That's good. Uh, but if you really want to own me, right, you really, really want to own me, sign up to my Substack, which is a uh, my email newsletter, uh, and then you can comment on my post there. But then if you really want to own me, really, really, sign up to the paid version, right? Because then I'm your bitch, right? Because you'll give me money. That puts you in charge, makes, makes me your bitch. Uh, 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 if you're not one of the hate watchers, do exactly the same thing. <laughs> Exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. Thank you very much. I'm very, very appreciative. Comment. Let me know what you think. So, uh, 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 SFX magazine came out yesterday. Now, this is the first part of the story. Let's look look at the cover. Uh, <laughs> so, we have new images of Jodie Whittaker in a new costume, right? Uh, uh, relegated to a thumbnail. This should have been the cover, right? I mean, this is this is big news. This is a big revelation uh, uh, in the Doctor Who world. Like, really, uh, this this would have been a, a, a dead sir action figure before Jodie Whittaker killed the action figure market uh, uh, by not being very good. So that's the first impression I got. Like, how is this not the front cover? Second impression I got is, how is this not the front cover of Doctor Who magazine? How is... How did SFX get get this scoop, right? And uh, 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 Doctor Who magazine didn't. I mean, really? How much water has Doctor Who magazine carried for you, Mr. Chibnall? And you still you still can't help them out, right? So this article, I think, is it's, it's, it's going to be talking a lot about you know a preview for the the uh, uh, the upcoming episode, but it's going to be talking more, I think, about the design of the of the Sea Devils now. One of the things that, amazingly, the Chibnall era hasn't done relentlessly wrong uh, is the design of monsters, right? The monster design of classic monsters has been, for the most part, very good. I think the the Cybermen, I thought, were excellent, right? I thought absolutely excellent. Um, I like the Dalek interior of the of the of the Dalek ship. I thought that that was very good. Uh, we see we see a few things. So this is a big monster that they're wheeling out to bring in some viewers. Uh, uh, in in the in the final moments, you know, but I don't think it's going to go down very well, uh, mainly because it's got Jodie Whittaker in it. So fine, let's let's uh, uh, look at this preview. 
Uh, I recommend, but we're going to skip bits, obviously, because I want you to buy the magazine if you want to read the whole thing. You know, look, they, they pay somebody to write this article. They paid to print it. It's not really fair uh, for me to like, it, well, I'm, I'm adding my, 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 my commentary in uh, um, to like, just take the whole thing for Baden. But God, look at this. I mean, like, I, like <laughs> if you don't really like, look at Mandip Gill's acting. It's it's just, uh, uh, I mean, I, 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 I don't really have the words, really, to, to like, wh how is this convincing? Were they having a little snog, really? Did they, they, they forwarding that storyline yet? Um, and now we see uh, the Doctor has a new, uh, amazingly somewhat feminine outfit, which is somewhat stra uh, stranger. The devil's work. Old enemies will resurface uh, with a swashbuckling uh, twist in Legend of the Sea Devils. You know, I'd be so excited if this wasn't this era of Doctor Who, right? Uh, um, okay, so firstly, I, there's a lot that's kind of clever about this, but a lot that's really traditionally stupid. You know, the, the, the Chris Dimmel stupid that you would expect. The reason that it's got an Asian setting, in my opinion, is because in uh, 2020, I believe, when this was probably being written, there was a spike in Asian hate crimes, uh, which the entirety of the media then said, oh, that's because of Donald Trump. That's because of Donald Trump, because he said, uh, lying, obviously, obviously, that COVID uh, 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 came from China. Uh -huh. so uh, uh, and uh, came from a lab in China. Uh, and you probably forgot. Back then, you were taken off of social media if you suggested that COVID came from a lab in China. Anyway, because of that, they said there was a spike in, in hate crimes against Asians. The reality was uh, a lot worse, in my opinion. The reality was that the spike in hate crimes against Asians um, was... Uh, and I'm not, I don't have the current data, but I think uh, at, at the... As of a month ago, um, universally uh, being perpetrated by black people to uh, to Asian people because, uh, according to their testimony, right? This is not me making up that uh, uh, black people feel that, <coughs> well, it, black people in lower income communities have been constantly fed the, the message that they are being horribly disadvantaged and they, uh, uh, Asian people, uh, uh, are being uh, have a lot more advantages because people don't like you if you have darkish skin, but if you have yellowish skin, it's okay. I don't understand. Okay, honestly, I I ask somebody who believes in racism, like who like somebody says, "Oh, the world's racist," right? Ask somebody who says, uh, "Why do you think a racist person doesn't like black people?" And just go along with play normal. I say, "So I did because they're, they're black skin." And, and what, what's wrong with that? They're black skin. Ah! And, and really, they don't. You because most of these people who call themselves anti-racist are, of course, super racist. Absolutely. But that's why it's got an Asian setting. That being said, the idea of sea devils being in in, in ancient China. Uh, quite a good one because you've got like the 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 Chinese dragon thing, which kind of looks sea devilish. Right in 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 ancient, uh, uh, I think Chinese art. Right, yeah, I, and it looks kind of they clear with the bulbous eyes. They do look uh, like it's uh, uh, something from Asian culture. But so that's a clever idea. Of course, you got a female pirate, and yes, there were female pirates because you know the other the, the other lie that we got to like relentlessly say. We yes, yeah, somebody uh, quoted uh, 1984. Uh, this morning, I wish I remember the quote, but the point, what, uh, uh, well, the point was the uni party um, wasn't that they believed in any of the things they make you say. They they just want to control you to make you say things that you know not to be true, right? Most people know that if you have a penis, uh, you're probably a guy, and if you don't have a penis, you're probably a girl. If you have a vagina, you're probably a girl, right? Most people have that worldview, but they can't say that anymore, right? They can't. It's it, it's not there, and so they make you say the lie. There's a no having a penis it doesn't really ma matter much I, I i'm just not going along well i have to go along with it somewhat because uh, otherwise youtube will yank me off because they they need you to be able to control you to say that lie so anyway, that's why it's a female pirate no other reason and it's gonna fail because just the same way everything else has failed uh having said that though somewhat excited about the uh uh, <laughs> uh their, their 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 new take on the uh uh sea devils let's have a look uh 
So, Legend of the Sea Devils, uh, title nods to the uh, the exalted rank in the Time Lords Greatest Foes. They're a real big fan favorite, says costume designer Ray Holman. Now, does he did he design the costume or the mask? I mean, it's uh, I hope I will find out. Uh, who's given uh, them a practical makeover for their run in with Jordi Whittaker? Uh, yeah, and people say, oh no, don't do this because uh, they're just going to make them the awful. Probably, but like it, the way I look at it is. Can they, they, they're just making costumes for the next production team, <laughs> right? Like, like honestly, Russell may use the Chibnall Cybermen. Frickin' awesome. I love those Cybermen, right? Um, fans of all ages really like them, uh, and maybe we just haven't seen, seen enough of them, right? So uh, 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 what we have seen is intriguing, uh, and we could, do, uh, uh, we could do with some more of them. Uh, I, th I do you think there's going to be a lot of them? I think there's going to be one of them. Looks like there's just going to be one. Although they're so bad at marketing, if you're going to have an army of sea devils, you should have you should have a bunch of them, right? I mean, you should show it. Um, uh, we do. I uh, I think the I think that uh, that may have been uh, been b behind the idea of bringing them back. It was such a strong image. Agrees. Uh, uh, creature costume makeup uh, Robert Alsop. So this is somebody different. So he does a, a mask. Uh, remembering the classic cliffhanger in the 1970s uh, series. The six of them coming out the sea was a powerful image uh, that stayed with a, in a lot of people's minds. And it's an image they've repeated a lot in Doctor Who. You know, you had the Hermivores in the, in the Seventh Doctor. If you never heard the story, the, oh, who was it? Terry Walsh? Uh, uh, the the about about the filming of, the, of them cut, coming out of the sea. Well, they said it was freezing, but they be, because the uh, they had the uh, the sea devil heads on when they went underwater. They couldn't stay underwater because the air they kept forcing them up. Right, so it was a really that was really hard to film. Apparently, it's, it's a funny story. Um, uh, six on there, such a power in the state of mind after that uh, in the. Uh, and also the fact that the design of their heads by John Freeland was such a strong, simple sculpt. Yeah, that's very true, right? If, I, so much so in the eleventh hour when uh, uh, you bet, yeah, with, with, when you're looking at all the Doctor's baddies, right? Uh, and the, all the monsters, the attracts you're looking at. One of the ones, the only uh, the classic ones I remember seeing is the Sea Devils because they look like they work perfectly. Um, where was it? Such uh, so people's mind, a, a simple sculpt. Uh, the kind of uh, kind of uh, total face was really, really, uh, really effective. That's very true. Even though technically they were simple, the design was very, very strong. Well, that that is a strong a strong designs are simple, in my opinion. Um, and so he doesn't like the uh, eighty four warriors of the deep one. I do. I like the samurai outfit. Right. Uh, I remember uh, in Longley the uh, uh, the exhibition you had uh, you, one of the costumes you had. It was really cool. I did. I I, I like that whole look. Uh, and I don't like anything else about Warriors of the Deep. It's awful, right? Don't, don't, don't go watch it. It's really bad. Uh, he shares with, uh, uh, didn't like Warriors of the Deep there. Uh, they were rocked as, uh, where they rocked the, uh, the samurai inspired look. I thought they were a bit, dis a bit of a disappointment. The sa samurai gear, uh, that was, uh, mentioned before the episodes came out, r uh, really wasn't what I would call samurai gear. To me, it looked like, uh, the, to me, the whole look of that story felt very overlit. Yeah, in, in the in the Longley exhibition, I remember one year they bought this new company and they did these really cool dioramas, right? And it was a good Yeti one, as I recall. But they 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 didn't overlight that over, you know, overlight them, and it looked looked a lot better. Um, and maybe not the most successful. Well, the uh, the listen, that what well, what was the strongest directions? Uh, um, most successful uh, reappearance of them. I'm hoping it works better this time around. It won't. I mean, a war of the deep is a low bar. <laughs> That's a low bar. But it won't because Christian and Jodie Whittaker are just massively incompetent, in my opinion. Uh, also, New Sculpts remains, uh, remains faithful to the uh, iconic uh, Freelance Iron 72. Chris Chimnall was quite clear that, uh, about what, uh, uh, what he wanted. Well, that's never a good sign, right? It was quite clear what he wanted with the Salorians as well. He wanted to be instant, instantly recognize people who've seen the original ones in the 70s. I guess that's the right that he wanted to bring them back because he really needs people not to hate his Doctor Who. Do you know how much his last episode got even the Daleks? Two million. A live viewer was two million, and that was on New Year's Day. 
What do you think this is going to get? It's going to do bad. Oh, God, it's going to do bad. Um, and so it was just a, a question of being as faithful as possible uh, to what uh, what had been done. I uh, I didn't have access to uh, an existing head. Why not? Why, why not? Can't you just buy them? Right? I mean, wait, hey, you can buy character options one. They're, I mean, I know they're little, but really? Seems like something that he would have had access to. Right, then access to original uh, to an existing head. And again, I, I I just read it again, and my brain still can't accept it. How how not? There must be a collector with what? Well, how to do a scan? Uh, although I think one or two survived in a slight uh, slightly crunchy now. The latex having de uh, uh, deteriorated. I did have access to a plaster cast that was taken. I'm guessing around uh, 1980. So I was able to do some key measurements. Okay, well that's based. It's the same thing, isn't it? I mean, okay, uh, for the uh, you know overall proportions, uh, and from, we could have just looked at pictures and made your own um, from that. And then I was working very much on photos of the original episodes. Okay, uh, I I can uh, remember seeing the episodes when they went out originally, and I really wanted to re recapture that feeling. Well, I think you know, let's have a look. I mean, you got a picture of it over here. Um, it doesn't look that good, does it? I mean, that's really the bottom. It just doesn't look that good. It's surprising how not good it looks. I mean, uh, um, I don't know why it doesn't look very good either. I, I, it, it, I, I know they're, put, they're putting CGI into it, make its uh, eyes open and close. <laughs> John, John Lewis is... It's not John Lewis. John Bishop. <laughs> John Bishop looks like he's having a good time. And, and and Mad Kill is just confused. She's like, ah, oh, she just, she has. I mean, her expression has no real connection ever to what she's actually doing. It's really weird. Um, it was always a bit uh, no, nerve wracking as Holman. You have to go through the process of thinking: Do we change it so much that it becomes something different? What you mean with like 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 with the Salorians? Uh, uh, oh, or like Doctor Who, right? <laughs> Three changes somebody become something different. Yeah, it's not Doctor Who. Uh, and if it's something modern and different, which uh, which has uh, uh, which has was that animatronics and all sorts of other things, uh, will uh, will it have the the same flavor of the originals? Well, if you want it to, I guess you're the one making it, mate, right? Uh, I didn't know they were gonna that they were gonna show the trailer at the end of the New Year's Day special. I mean, really. Why? I, I, why didn't they tell you? Okay, uh, I'm really pleased they did because the reaction has been amazing. You instantly know uh, what they are, and that, and there's an uh, anticipation. Okay, you're making a fair point with that. Um, that this creature is uh, crossing the uh, crossing the classic series uh, uh, with the modern series in a really big uh, amalgamation, and hopefully a respectful one. That's uh, that's quite a responsibility. I think you're doing your job okay, mate, right? I think the drag factor of Jodie Whittaker is is somewhat extreme, right? It's like, like I, you know, out of Chris Chibnall, it's somewhat extreme. Um, it's quite a, well, Holman and also originally considered using animatronics, uh, time screen meant that, that touches like eye blinks had to be added in post-production. When we're doing the dregs, Oh crap! They did the dregs. That doesn't look good. Oh, well, now I understand why it looks plastic and and not not uh, not convincing anyway. You did the dregs that look plastic and not convincing in any way in an episode that was plastic and not convincing in in, in any way, right? I mean, it is. It's just a bit disappointing the, the way they look. What is he wearing? Why? Like what? Whatever. Um. The dregs. Oh god, the twenty twenty is all from fifty five. All from fifty five. Um, the uh, those did have facial movements. Says uh, also, but there was just no time to do that this time round. Why not? Uh, what? Okay, twenty twenty. Right, it, 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 you did the you did the dregs. Uh, it came out in twenty twenty, which means you did it in twenty nineteen. You've had two years. Uh, I, I I why not? Okay, in the event, uh, in the event, he created masks using authentic looking old, old school methods. It was a very uh, basic, simple materials, uh, pretty much the same way as John Fre Freelander would have done the original. So it was a clay skull, uh, pl uh, plaster mold, and uh, then latex for the actual cast of the head. Uh, uh, and I, uh, oh, cast. So therefore, there's, there's 
sounds like there's going to be a few. Uh, and I found the scenic material, which the uh, which is the closest I could find to what the they originally used for the uh, textured fabric between the fins. That actually, that's something I did notice. That uh, I, I thought that I thought that was pretty good, right? Let me zoom in a little bit more. Like, like, I, yeah, I th this stuff really works quite well. The 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 stuff like. Um, but yeah, between the fins, I get exactly as he said it. Really, I guess. Okay, every time I look at John Bishop, I go like, "Really? Like how how gay could you make that man look?" Very, very is the answer. Very, very gay. That's how gay you make him look. Very, very gay indeed. Uh, so where we are, the um, uh, so it was very much the same techniques that had been used in the seventies, partly because there was so little time. Why was there so little time? Okay, well, the reason there was so little time is because this was the extra episode they gave. They thought they had eight episodes, and then they uh, 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 gave them an extra ninth one, which is this must be the one they uh, they they slotted in because you had uh, even the Daleks that were that that was always planned, and I, then you had to have the one wrapping everything up. So this is the one they put they pushed in. Uh, uh, so I, I still don't understand like why you had so so little time. But is it because? They didn't really, yeah. You know, they give me enough of a budget. I, I don't know. Um, uh, because there's so little time, there was no real time to experiment with doing anything different. I mean, really. I mean, how experiment experimentation do you, did you need? Have you ever seen Battlefield? The, you know, the, that destroyer mask was pretty darn good. I do like the bit, by the way, when the the, the destroyer like opens his mouth and his lips curl up. You think. Like drool come down, come down his fangs. That that was that was pretty darn good. Uh, uh, and they did that what thirty years ago. How much experimentation do you need? Okay, maybe I'm being a bit of a dick about this, but uh, uh, no, <laughs> I don't think so. Um, uh, where are we up to? Uh, uh, there's no return to experiment with anything different. We're just doing with things we knew would work. Well, again. They could have done the same way they did the destroy. Okay, so fine. So, uh, which should, of course, warm the hearts of Doctor Who fans. Hopefully, uh, there does seem to be a lot of nostalgia for the way the creatures were done in the 70s. What's the point of bringing them back if you don't make them the same? I like, like I don't get it. What What's really the point? Uh, well, in the 70s, the, the, uh, with, with the actors inside classic masks, peered out through peepholes in, in the neck, 21st century sea, sea devils, have a slightly different uh, viewpoint. That's interesting. Bear in mind that you, uh, with the original ones, uh, they were appearing next to John Pertwee, they, uh, who was very tall compared to Jodie Whittaker. Yeah, I know. She's so dinky, isn't she? Uh, so it would uh, uh, really have worked... Uh, uh, it, would, it wouldn't really have worked to have them towering over her quite so much. <laughs> yes, it would. Uh, but listen... Why not? Really, why not? I, I look. You were very insistent. There needed to be a woman Doctor Who. So if she looks ridiculous against uh, against monsters, then that's, did she just looks ridiculous against monsters? If she's looking up to a Dalek eye stalk, you know, it's like a bit dinky. Um, for, uh, so trying uh, to so uh, the eye line uh, was through the mouth instead, just to make uh, it uh, make it less of a height difference. Being the Doctor and the Sea Devil, uh, uh, and the Sea Devil. It sounds like there's one now. It sounds like they didn't. Have, they don't have. A, didn't have a lot of money for this. This is weird. The uh, the beaky bug eyed uh, fizzogs may be uh, may be faithfully reproduced, but Holman tells uh, tells us there was no place for uh, fishing net chic of the seventies of the originals. Well, I have to tell you. I mean, this is where is it that that. The webbing thing is is very reminiscent of that, which I thought that was quite quite a clever idea. Again, you know, I don't like, God, like why, why, why do I have to keep looking at this? Um, so yeah, you're not going to get the uh, the the fishing net chic. Um, we need to be very specific to our story. So this is a whole new story with the sea devils. The Doctor meets them again, and we're on a pirate ship. I talked to Chris about everything we designed. Uh, and the the words were sea devils as pirates, swashbuckling sea uh, sea devil pirate adventure. God, uh, why can't this have been done any other era, right? Because it sounds awesome, right? That sounds like it would have been awesome. I just know it's not because the people doing it aren't just just not going to put it together. Yes, the Doctor and fellow Tardis Nort Yas and Dan arrive in nineteenth century Asia again. 
This is all because uh, of the uptick in hate, Asian hate crimes caused by left-wing politicians. Be, be very, very clear. Um, no, I'm not going. I never read the uh, the interviews with the actors. To me, they're just kind of meat puppets. Um, and it does kind of yeah. Well, well, first we get to see the doctor's new outfit, which I don't know. Just like, how is this doctorish at all? And look at the expression. Like, what is this expression? She does this a lot. This like. It's like, oh, I'm the doctor. Yeah. I, I don't understand. Like, wh what is this supposed to inspire in me? Like, hatred? I, I don't know. Like, oh, God, I do not want to hang out with this person at all. Uh, so they discover a small um, uh, coastal village that's not only threatened by a pirate queen, queen Madam Ching, uh, but a fearsome aquatic reptile who so have clearly been rummaging through the uh, dressing up box. Basically, they're in pirate costumes, says. Uh, uh, Holman. So okay, we're, so we're getting we're getting a bunch of them, right? We're getting a few of them. Uh, they have stripy black. Uh, 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 they have stripy uh, breeches, bucket boots, uh, arming jackets, and leather armor. They're kind of a cross between the seafaring pirate and the science fiction creature, which references the original sea devils. But our sea devils have armor. Okay. Their, uh, their leader is... Fine, we're definitely getting a bunch of them then. Okay, that's good. Their leader is uh, a big 18th century... Uh, the, the, the leader has a big 18th century um, century coat, which is covered with uh, mollusks. Wait, do I have a picture of him anywhere? I think on the next page. Let me have a look. Yeah, let's go have a look. See, that doesn't look like a... a, a what I imagine as a, a, a swashbuckling seafaring coat. It looks much lighter weight to me, right? And, and the boots... Again, none of this is really looking as they, as they described it. <laughs> Look at her! Like, now I've got to go for Jodie Whittler. Like, okay. Um, uh, with mollusks all over the jet. So basically doing pirate, pirate, pirates of the Caribbean or the Caribbean, depending wherever you may be. Uh, but with the new set, we got uh, what is it? Uh, mollusks. We, uh, we put mollusks and mussels all over their boots and their arming jackets. But with uh, within the design of the new Sea Devils, I bought some uh, uh, a lot of elements of the old. Well, of course, look closely and you'll see um, uh, Sea Devil aesthetic. I've used uh, a fishing net within the new costume. They have uh, they have leather armor, and I found some fishing net to. Be compressed beneath the uh, beneath the, the leather that uh, beneath the leather that we that we use on the armor. You get a crisscross. Uh, sh um, you get a crisscross and the uh, shape of a net. So there, anyway, let's have a look over there. Yeah. So again, this this looks like rubber, not leather, to me. But that that's clever, right? That's a clever idea. As I, when they're looking at you head on, it looks a lot better, right? It looks a lot better, but still. Um, it's really unimpressive. I, I don't know. Um, but speaking of really unimpressive, there's Jodie Whittaker. Um, fine. Uh, the real delight. Uh, the leader of the Sea Devils is more uh, heroically dressed and slightly, well, unlike Jodie Whittaker, uh, and slightly different to the big gang of Sea Devils uh, uh, around him. Uh, there's even a top. Uh, there's even a hat on top of the scaly fop. Uh, there is Smiles Holman. Wait, wait, wait. We haven't seen that yet. No, we have not seen that yet. Um, I was a bit worried about that. It's huge, and honestly, it's re uh, it's really huge. It's a it's a it's a uh, tricor, so it's a big party hat. Okay. Uh, it didn't have to stay on long. It was never meant to stay on very long, so it's completely impractical. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, I haven't seen the finished episode, so I don't even know if it's in there. But uh, but we made it, and it looked great. Uh, okay, uh, again, I this was back in the age when you would want to get action figures of this stuff, right? Not anymore. Uh, most of the time, the episode, uh, most of the episode, the hat isn't on because it's it's hard to stay on. Yeah, we got that. Uh, and uh, not to uh, not to be distracting. It was really hard to sculpt, uh, really hard to get uh, get that hat to fit the sculpt, and basically stay on, uh, uh, stay on. Basically, we, uh, which is why I like the idea that you see it, uh, and then uh, and then you lose it because otherwise it's gonna be a silly hat. Well, 
Then why do it then? Okay, wobbling on somebody's hair, uh, on somebody's, whereas the other hats were made for the episode to stay on. Most of the time, anyway, most of the time, anyway, that the episode's got quite quite a few uh, iconic hats. Yeah, because I, when I think Doctor Who, oh yeah, I think hats, iconic hats. That's what that's what we need. Uh, actually, there's a Twitter group called Hats of Who. Never, ever, ever, ever do anything we're connected to Twitter, mate. Never, ever, ever. Uh, they're going to be uh, delighted because we have several really, really good hats. Well, okay, yeah. I guess you get at least some people there. That's good news. Um, the historical agent setting has its own demands, with Holman chasing the authenticity where he could. I had a delightful Chinese trainee called uh, Yuan, uh, who was with us all year. He had a year! A year! And they didn't have any time to make them... Okay, uh, 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 all year. When we read the scripts, we sat down and she... Uh, I didn't know it was a girl. <laughs> and she took me uh, to some uh, gorgeous fabric sites and um, and shoe sites in China. I, I, that's probably a good idea, you know. If you want to get fabrics from that region, yeah, that's actually a really good idea. As I said, you know, I, I, I hope they, they, they are able to salvage this and reuse it for... Uh, Rossley Davis Doctor. Between our director, uh, Haolo Wang, oh god, a new one, they had a really good guidance on the visuals. Uh, yeah, I understand they, they were they were hired because their uh, their director was hired because of uh, uh, her ethnicity. Yeah, I, they got lucky with either the Daleks. That first time director actually knew what she was doing. I think she she delivered. I mean, I wouldn't say a good episode because it was Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall, right? But uh, um, they they delivered. I mean, I think they delivered. A, I would say a reasonably superior episode. Do you reckon this is the leader one, or do you think this is the um, uh, uh, one one the grunts? I don't know. I don't know. It, it looks okay, right? I like the colors on it. The the colors are looking good. It's just a bit disappointing, right? I mean, like, it, it, I, are we going to see it talk? I saw its, its eyes blink, right? They did that in post. Fine, let's keep going. Uh, cosplayers can take up your needle. The sea devils aren't the only ones attempting to blend in with local culture. Even the doctor has a variation on costume. It's just a completely different costume. She has a Chinese jacket. We decided to spend spent on the coat. Uh, I found most uh, the most beautiful st silk brocade and some samples of authentic Chinese pieces in a in a costume hire place, and I copied them. Okay, fine. That's not like being derivative, whatever you can. Um, the Doctor's Chinese tu uh, tuning is in her colors, uh, so it's sky blue. It's, but there's no rainbows on it, right? Right? Yeah, it's all about the rainbow, right? Don't pretend it isn't. Uh, um, it's all. Uh, so he decided to dress up the three of them. Uh, Yaz has the most beautiful skirt. Let's go back and look at that. Uh, I made it from a really comp uh, complicated. Uh, I made it a really complicated thing because she had a lot of action. It wrap. It's a wrap around skirt based on the original Chinese skirt from two hundred years ago. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, I just. <laughs> it's okay. I uh, listen. I. I, I um. Many of you out there will, will, will empathize with you. A lot of the time, my, my daughter's more than my wife. Now, my, wife my daughter will go, uh, like, which, which shirt do you think? Or which pair of shoes? I don't really know. I, and whatever one they pick, they always choose the other. So it looks, honestly, it looks like a, a, a gray skirt with a Chinese print on it. I mean, uh, okay. Fine. <laughs> Let's look at that again. They're going to talk about his costume. Really? I mean, really? Uh, 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 okay, okay. That that that's the way they want to do it. That's the way they want to do it. <laughs> I can't argue. Um, am I, do they have the same? Are they going to have the Sea Devil voices? Are they going to be like? Yes. By the way, I'm listening right now to uh, um, the the Dark Dimension. I didn't know they, uh, there was a fan audio of the Alan Rickenfold 30th uh, anniversary story that never was. It was supposed to be directed by Graham Harper. Um, and they have, they have some great Sea Devil voices in that. They really do. I've only got like one episode to go. I'm really enjoying that. Actually, so, listen, I don't want to uh, 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 raid on it in a parade. you just got to accept that the people playing the characters you recognize don't sound much like them, right? And, and, and just go with it, right? Just go with it. And then it was okay. But generally, the production values, the script's actually very good as well. It's all, it's all pretty good. I, and you just got to accept it, it doesn't sound like Tom Baker, right? 
uh, and it, you did, it was a good performance. I don't, I really don't want to rank on it because it was a good performance, and I love fan creativity. It just didn't really sound like Tom Baker uh, to me. So Jez a beautiful skirt. Um, Rapper two hundred years ago. Uh, there's a lot of applique. I know what applique is. The applique pieces are printed with waves that are mostly Japanese uh, in the look of them, like famous Japanese paintings of waves. Uh, well, isn't it supposed to be set in China, and she uh, and she has her Chinese slippers. Okay, so just Oriental, really. It's the way liberals do uh, uh, non-racism by being very racist. Uh, as for fa a fashion plate, <laughs> as for fashion plate, Dad. Oh God! Within the story, there's a little joke at the beginning uh, about uh, how Dan dr dr dresses. What, like a homo? <laughs> and of course, if if you are somebody who uh, who who does enjoy the uh, uh, the same sex love, the love that dare not say the speaker's name, uh, uh, please don't take offence at the use of the word homo. Uh, uh, um, I I just it, 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 it sounded a funny word basically to me, uh, uh, and and he does look a bit gay. He does. Um, Yaz has uh, 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 but but let me know in the comments. Is homo a bad word? Is that is that is that derogatory? There's a oh god, it's always bad. I can never remember. For short people, there's a word that they don't like. It's like the N word for short people, for little people. And I, 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 and I don't, I don't. It, it. Okay, I'm not gonna say it. Right? They had a shuttlecraft in Red Wolf called Blue That Thing. Right? Uh, uh, if if that's the word that you're not allowed to say, I'm never really sure. So let me know in the comment. Uh, uh, is homo a bad word? <laughs> I really don't know. Um, that's actually a genuine question. Please let me know. Uh, uh, is homo is is homo? Now that's the Jewish way of saying homo. No, it's homo derogatory. That's the question. Please answer in the comments. Um, uh, so Yaz has dressed him as a Yaz has dressed him as a pirate. As a Caribbean pirate, why is Yaz, why is Yaz dressing up Dan? Was he is, is she is he a Ken doll? Why? Back to why they make this episode. Why? Just what? Why? Uh huh. So he's full of panto pirate. It was all made for him. Well, I bought a really old pair of curtains, and I hate to say it, but cut them up. Well, you, that's what you. Okay, uh, to make his waistcoat. Well, so quick look at the waistcoat. What what curtain had to die for that waistcoat? Let's have a quick look. Okay, I think those curtains needed to die. Okay, I don't think he did a bad thing. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Um, because of such a brilliantly woven fabric, he looks completely out of place. Yes, uh, he's got a uh, bucket boots and beautiful linen britches. New romantic ahoy! Yes, he's very new romantic. Big frilly shirt. Uh, last series, uh, the cars were in period costumes at the end, and the doctor wasn't. So it was an opportunity to give the three of them uh, uh, an adventurously uh, dressed time. Okay, get yeah, yeah, the three and be adventurously dressed this time. But all eyes, you suspect, will be on the legendary sea devils for Robert Allsop. Uh, the and uh, that that's the tribute of uh, to the enduring talent of John Freelander. Well, okay, he did most of the best creatures in the seventies. That's that's fair. He was a real ge uh, genius in uh, the craft of mask making, and a lot of his stuff um, uh, holds up today, design wise. Uh, yeah, the Zygons are still better in the classic than today. Uh, uh, although thing, things have moved on, uh, uh, moved on technically. I did get to meet John when I was a student. I was I spent a happy afternoon chatting with him in his house. He was well. Why did you, if you had a sea devil you could use? Uh, and he was happy to spend the afternoon chatting with his house. He was very helpful and gave me lots of advice. So I do have a real kind of connection to him. Part of the uh, monstrous lineage. It'll be nice to. Uh, it's nice to think. So so uh, it's not. You're not part of the history of Doctor Who because this isn't Doctor Who. This is so forgettable. That's why I'm hoping it's going to be used by Ross Lee Davis. Quite frankly. Um, it'll, be, it'll be nice to think so. I wouldn't claim to be as brilliant as a uh, brilliant sculptor as he was in his prime, but yeah, it's nice to be thought of in that context. So, okay, there you go. Um, you said you, you, uh, 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 sea devils. What do you think? What do you think? The new looking sea devils? It here's the thing it doesn't matter what they look like, the episode's 
unless I'm amazed, unless something amazing happens, it's going to be unwatchable garbage. It's going to be unwatchable, uh, uh, somewhat racist garbage. And if you took for you know, to, if you doubt that at all. Go and watch my review of Rosa, right? Uh, which should be on my channel. I, I, yeah, I'm, it should be on my channel now. Uh, where I really, really take it apart slowly. Uh, and you see how incredibly racist it is, right? It just, which looks, this looks like it's, it's giving Rosa a bit of a run for the money, right? So uh, there you have it. You see devils. Does anybody really care? Well, people don't want to see, see them destroyed, right? They don't want to see them like... Uh, uh, brought low, much like Gallifrey and the Doctor and the title and many of the other things this era has touched. Uh, uh, just remember, close your eyes, it'll be over soon, baby. Uh, 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 <laughs> lie back and think of England. No, really, it's going to, we've got one episode to go after this and it's going to be just incredibly awful. It's going to be titanically awful. Uh, 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 as I suspect this one will be too. You know what? It'll give us a new thing to take the piss out of for a bit as we wait for Rusty Davis to come back. Who's going to be the next Doctor? Not Hugh Grant from, uh, from what we learnt this week, but wouldn't be great if he is. <laughs> Just imagine. My name is Sheila Bank and you rabbi from another planet. Please like, share and subscribe and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.